Well, the Friendship Oak lost a branch the other day, as you can see. It lost a branch from a same wound as a prior incident that we, we had determined came from Hurricane Camille, possibly Katrina, and then there's a lightning strike, which is very prominent that that branch comes out of. So the fate of the actual tree itself is the tree is going to remain either with or without the branch. At this point, we are retaining this branch and hoping that the connection that it has to the tree is still the same as it had before the break. If you can see, it was not truly connected at the top. It, it lost a, a main branch coming up. We don't know exactly when, but we determined during Hurricane Camille probably is the biggest traumatic event that we can associate to that time period. So. It lost a huge branch from here. There were some improper maintenance techniques used, but that's just the, the, the techniques of the time. That was the peak of you know technology at the time. They filled it with concrete and tar and nails and so forth. But what had happened was because that branch was lost from here, any branch attached to it, and as you can see, this is actually three separate branches. So these trees never really are connected. That's what I was trying to say. These branches, even though from outward appearance, they look like one branch and one tree, they're actually not. When this was struck by lightning in 2010, all the way down here, it stopped this branch from being able to compartmentalize and, you know, for lack of a better word, heal itself like it had been doing. Well, this tree means everything to uh, the community for starters. You know, everyone has a memory of being here. I have a memory of being here nine years ago before I even lived in Mississippi.